Well, Wyatt and Savannah and most of the dogs that we use for the real time, we call them the RTD, the real time dogs, can detect over 200 different diseases. Uh, pretty much they can detect anything that's not a normal human smell. Then it's my job as the handler to be able to look at the dog, find what he is looking at, the body parts he is looking at, and even having a very strong background in anatomy and physiology, being able to say he's alerting here and he's alerting here, what would be common to both. So in the first case, that gentleman probably didn't have anything himself, but he had been probably in contact with somebody who did have something going on, perhaps an inflammation, probably not a localized thing, but something systemic could have even been he hugged his wife who has rheumatoid arthritis. There was just a very minor hit. Where in the second gentleman, that's what we want to see. The dog comes up and goes once or twice around the nose and mouth, doesn't smell anything coming out of the lungs, which is where we look for the signals to come from. He just gave a very quick uh, scan, and he on his own got off and said, no, I'm done, laid down, and he's done. And in that short of a time, we, I can be 99.999% sure that that man doesn't have anything wrong.